What's going on, Phoenicians? My name is Phoenix787. You can always come be Zach, and today I have another vlog for you. And uh, you can see here, this is the uh, new uh, E235 series Yamanote line train that got all screwed up yesterday. <laughs> I was really happy to drive, well, not drive on, I was really happy to ride yesterday. You, can, you guys saw those videos. I got a lot of views actually. This is my new uh, little ornament thing I have on my desktop. This is a Mochi Pikachu with a little Mikan. This is like a symbol of uh, New Year's. And then a L0 linear Shinkansen model. I am kind of a nerd, aren't I? <laughs> you guys also probably saw the sketch I did with uh, Yuichi Tuba, which was something I worked on today. <laughs> we filmed it last week though when we did our Thirsty Thursdays video, and I didn't have time to edit it or upload it, upload it until today. But I was really, really happy about how it came out. Yuichi was happy about it too, and I think you guys, uh, I think you guys liked it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, it just got published by the time I'm recording this. But that's an example of something I'm doing new with the channel. I'm starting to do more sketch comedy, trying to do more different, you know, different things than just regular vlogs and regular GTA videos, regular video game videos and stuff like that. Like this is still related to Japan, right? You know, all the train videos I uploaded yesterday. The sketch comedy thing is related to the beer, right? That I used to do, I always do on this channel. Not used to, always. <laughs> I want you guys to know this though. I am not just doing YouTube to be famous. I, I am not doing that at all. Like, there's a lot of criticism that's been directed towards me by other J vloggers, and it's gotten to the point where it's pretty much just drama right now. And I don't like, like, remember, I don't, I don't like talking about drama, but I think it really is kind of stupid at what's, you know, what people are kind of saying about me. The reason why I'm working so hard on YouTube right now, the reason why, I, you know, spend a lot of time on YouTube, looking, you know, working on YouTube, trying to organize different videos and stuff like that. Yeah, I would like this channel to grow, but there's a reason why I want it to grow. The reason why I really want this channel to grow, the reason that I love YouTube, though, that I'm on YouTube, is because a lot of YouTubers, especially the ones I watch, they do a lot of great things for the community. Not just the YouTube community, but just for like the global community. One of my greatest influences on YouTube is Markiplier. You can see on his channel description that he's raised close to a million dollars in charity and he has another charity event coming up very soon and he'll definitely top a million dollars after that charity event. And that's one of the main things that drove me to become a YouTuber. When I started my channel, this was before I knew Markiplier actually, I knew about Markiplier, you know, and PewDiePie's done charity as well. A lot of these YouTubers do charity. I think it's the coolest thing to do like a charity live stream, to raise money for a charity of your choice, and that, that YouTube gives you that opportunity. You can, it's you, right? You can do whatever you want on your channel. And once you have a good following, you can use that power to make a difference in the world. One of the things that I was kind of keeping under wraps until after I surpassed a thousand subscribers was this exactly, was the charity thing. And I feel like I should announce it right now that the, char that the channel is growing. We surpassed 700 subscribers last week and we're up to 714 last I checked. To celebrate a thousand subscribers, once I surpass a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a charity live stream. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but I will definitely be selling t-shirts. I'm gonna be selling, I'm gonna be making my own merch shop as well as part of a thousand subscribers. And I'm gonna be selling uh, t-shirts. I'm not sure what the design's gonna be yet. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet with it. That is, that, that is something I, I definitely wanna do celebrate a thousand subscribers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a charity live stream to raise money and sell t-shirts for charity to raise money for adoption agencies. I'm not sure which adoption charity I'm going through yet. I have to do my research. You know, but a thousand subscribers is still like, you know, 300 subscribers away. It's pretty far out right now, you know, in my terms, obviously, right? But I am doing my research on which agencies I should go through to, you know, funnel that money. I'm probably gonna do a Kickstarter campaign, have that money go to an adoption agency. And yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much how it's gonna work out. You know, I, I mean, if you guys didn't know, I'm adopted right now. You know, I mean, I'm adopt. I should say right now, I am adopted. My birth mom was 19 when she gave birth to me. She was in the Air Force. She was 19 when she gave birth to me, and obviously, she didn't want to raise me in poverty, which I don't blame her. She gave me the life I have today. I would not be in Japan if it wasn't for my birth mom. I feel like a lot of attention that that comes to maternity and women's health goes to. Uh, organizations like Planned Parenthood and other, uh, you know, pregnancy centers and stuff like that. But I feel like there's more options than just simply abortion. And I feel like if you want to give someone a life, if you definitely want to 
make sure that child survives pregnancy and stuff like that, adoption is definitely a way to go. It's the way my birth mom chose for me. It's the way that my parents chose for me. They, you know, my parent, people I call mom and dad today, they the ones who adopted me, right? I feel like these days, a lot of those charities don't get enough funding, plain and simple. And that's part of the reason why I want to do this charity live stream is I want to give, I want to give back to what you guys have given me and to what the world itself has given to me. To and my, my parents didn't have to go through an adoption agency when I was adopted. They had to send a lawyer to the Cherokee Nation because, you know, I think I'm a th like seventh and eighth Cherokee. I don't know how much Cherokee I am, but they had to send a lawyer there to sign off for adoption, but that's about it. There's a lot of moms out there who can't afford that whole process by themselves. I'm so, I think my mom, my birth mom, went through the military to be able to take care of me properly or get me to the right people properly, but there's a lot of moms who simply just don't know what to do. And I feel like there's a lot of lives that could be saved and a lot of uh, kids that could have a much better outcome in life than simply just growing up in a very broken household. And that's why I am planning this charity live stream after I surpass a thousand s subscribers. It's hard to say a thousand subscribers. <laughs> like I said, all this is in the preliminary stage right now. Like I am nowhere near a thousand and I have no concrete plans written down yet, but they will be written down soon enough. And you guys will know about this sooner or later, and like I said, I'll have the t-shirts obviously ready. And yeah, I really hope you guys support me in this endeavor. And I hope this kind of clears up a lot of the criticism that's been directed at me for how much I've put into YouTube. Because a lot of YouTubers who are around the same level as I am, or some of my peers, that I, you know, fellow J vloggers who keep giving me a lot of shit for taking uh, YouTube seriously, I hope you guys know why I do YouTube seriously now. This is the reason why I take it seriously. Because I want this thing to grow, and I want to make a difference in the world, not just by making people laugh, but having that power, having these people who are supporters of me, who, the, you know, the Phoenician Brotherhood, right? I want you guys, I want to make you guys an army of awesome people that can do great things for this world. Also, lastly, I want to show you guys this. My friend Sophie made this for me. This is going to be my new avatar for YouTube. Thank you, Sophie, so much for making me this. Her name is Shivers in Japan, if you don't know who she is on uh, YouTube. I'll leave a link down below in the description to her channel, and you guys can check her out. She's an amazing artist. The reason I asked her to make this for me is because she posted an article on Facebook complaining about how people always beg artists for, uh, you know, free stuff, right? To be an artist means you have to do these commissions, and it's very, very hard to convince people to actually give you money. So here's me supporting one of my friends who is an artist. So good on you, Sophie. Good on you. This is a great thing that you've done. And yeah, if you ever want to, if you ever want a commission from her, she has fairly reasonable prices. Uh, send her a message on YouTube, and she'll get back to you. Or I don't know, YouTube, Twitter. I don't know. Sophie, leave a uh, comment. Let me know what you want me to direct these people to. <laughs> Sorry for all the jump cuts, I was out drinking with my friend, it was his 21st birthday today. <laughs> and uh, I'm not drunk, I'm just tired and I didn't write down what I was supposed to say. And I've rambled on a lot, but like I said, I'm not in this for the fame and the fortune. I mean, I don't want to do YouTube as my career. I'm in this to make a difference. I'm in this to, you know, get a bunch of people who want to make a difference together to make that difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video, I hope, and I hope you guys understand me a lot better at why I do YouTube, and I hope you guys enjoyed the sketch comedy, expect a lot more of that, I mean that's, like, that's the, re the direction I'm taking the channel right now, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy, Phoenicians. Glad you